Hello, let me share with you some more ideas about making you an effective communicator. I told you in my previous video that it needs practice. Another important aspect of uh, why you need to become effective in your communication is that there is, it is so easy to have misunderstanding in communication. One mind to another mind, miscommunication can happen. So that is why you need to master this art. Now, today what I am going to share with you, some of the critical elements of communication which you can work upon slowly and steadily so that your communication becomes better. First one is language. Do you have command on the language in which you are talking? And talk in the language in which you have command. You understood both the things. You need to have command on the language only then your stage fear will start going away. One of the challenges that people face is that they don't know enough words in a particular language and that stops them from speaking. Whether it is English, whether it is Hindi, whether it is any vernacular language, you must know the language. Very recently, I started my Facebook lives in Hindi. And I've not been speaking in Hindi in my training programs for quite some time. And I had that challenge of finding right words at the right time. And I'm working on that constantly so that it becomes fluent over a period of time. So the command on language is very important as a starting step. And what is it that you can do? A simple uh, principle here is start knowing, start understanding new words on a continuous basis. How I practice this uh, in my school and college days was I used to have a notebook in which I used to write a word every day and uh, make a conscious attempt to put that to use in my communication, my conversation with people. So that is how slowly and steadily my command on the language started improving. Another important thing about language which I have been recommending and practicing it myself, make your language positive. The more you talk positive, what do I mean by positive? After listening to you, I must feel good, I must have a sense of hope after listening to you. If you keep on uh, painting a very uh, murky picture, a very, very dull picture of the times to come, I'm sure I'm not going to pay too much attention to that. I do not want to get scared after listening to you. Right? So that is why I want you to start practicing that your communication is positive. People want to feel empowered. People want to feel encouraged. That is why consciously make an attempt to put in positive words in your vocabulary. A simple example that I give on this says, instead of using the word problem when you are talking to people, can you use the word challenge? Because the frequency of both these words is very different and they are interpreted very differently. This is about language. Second important uh, aspect that I'm focusing on in today's uh, video is tone. What does tone reflect? Tone is a reflection of your inner state. How are you feeling inside is reflected by your tone. Whether you are angry, whether you are sad, whether you are disconnected, disinterested, dull, all that comes out in your tone. And that is why Tone also becomes important because people connect less to the words and more to the tone. Less to what is said, more to how it is said. That is why tone becomes important. You may have heard of uh, that uh, principle as to how much, uh, how much each element of communication contributes to making it 100%. In that, let me just quickly mention to you. 7% is the uh, weightage of words, 38% is tone 
and 55% is body language. I'll talk about body language in my next video. So understand tone is how much more important than the words themselves. So start paying attention to tone which includes rhythm, speed, volume, pitch, all that comes in tone. Pay attention to these two things, the language and the tone that will help you to make you a better communicator.